we've all seen it on a map, you can't miss it. Lake Winnebago is the largest inland lake in all of Wisconsin. And today we're exploring the three counties that surround that lake. So start your engines and your campfires as we welcome you to these endless shores on Discover Wisconsin. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. One thing that connects all three of these counties is the beauty of the land that surrounds Lake Winnebago. And our next stop is arguably one of the most beautiful in all of Wisconsin. We are at High Cliff State Park on the shores of Lake Winnebago. We're known for our cliff formations. People love to hike here. The ability to see cliffs close up that are 430 million years old. Not only is this a great place to hike, but these cliffs are part of a rock formation called the Niagara Escarpment, and they've played a major role in shaping the entire region. There would be no Lake Winnebago, there would be no Fond du Lac, no Oshkosh, no Neenam and Ashen or Appleton or Green Bay if it wasn't for the Niagara Escarpment. The water would flow directly east towards Lake Michigan, but because of this rock cliff, it has to flow to the north. These cliffs are the whole reason that the lake even exists, that this whole region exists, really. And when you're up there in the tower looking out, taking in the view, it's really quite a sight to see. So after enjoying the truly breathtaking view, it was time to take a look at the Niagara Escarpment up close and personal. This is about the bottom of the hard dolomite cliff at the top of the escarpment, and it's sitting on soft shales here, and it compresses these shales that's what results in these big tilting blocks that eventually fall down the slope. This is an enormous block. It's at least 100 feet long and 30 or so feet wide and 30 feet high. There's one big piece of dolomite that's going to eventually fall down the cliff. Well, I think we're safe because that tree's holding it up. Yeah, it probably uh, doesn't move a lot currently. <laughs> What's amazing to me is that this place exists just right here in Wisconsin. This is my first time ever being here just amazing, but really learning about how the cliff formations came to be has really added to the whole experience, and this whole place has just been totally awe-inspiring. As much as High Cliff State Park sets the Lake Winnebago area apart from anywhere else in Wisconsin, sturgeon spearing sets the Lake Winnebago area apart from anywhere else, period. The Winnebago system sturgeon spearing is the largest recreational harvest of lake sturgeon in the world. So you get people coming from all over to check out not only the fishery, but there's the spectating of fish coming into the registration stations. There's going out to, there's numerous festivals located around the area that you can go partake in. And each of these festivals events are supporting not only sturgeon spearing, but sturgeon as a species. So no matter if you're a fisherman traveling or from the area, or if you're you know, someone that just wants to come check out the fish, there's something to do. Sturgeon spearing on Lake Winnebago has become a massive annual event, but it comes from a tradition that dates back centuries. The idea of harvesting lake sturgeon through the ice was kind of taught to early European settlers from the Native American tribes. The European settlers continued to harvest fish throughout most of the 1800s, not only spearing, but hook and line, various different methods. Not only is it a major draw to the area in the winter months, but it also brings local residents together as a shared, unique experience. The three counties here surrounding Lake Winnebago, they really share this social unity around sturgeon spearing. Come February, the local residents in these counties, they get excited. So whether you're from you know, point A or point B around the lake, or if you're not even from around the lake, you can walk in and meet any spearer and share in these stories and traditions regardless of where you're from. And it's the culture around the area that I think really holds that together. As we discovered, the communities that surround Wisconsin's biggest lake are big on fun, art, nature, and adventure. The shores of Lake Winnebago are a getaway definitely worth exploring. So come experience the endless shores of Wisconsin.